What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I am doing a style breakdown for a famous American celebrity. He had his first breakthrough with the movie Fruitville Train Station and he also had another back-to-back -back Fantastic Four, Creed 1, Creed 2, and now Creed 3 here in 2023. Y'all know who I'm talking about? We are talking about Michael B. Jordan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the style breakdown. All right, here is his first picture. And before we even get started talking about the fits, let's talk about something that we could really admire about Michael B. Jordan. One of the things that you could do to elevate your style is to work with what works best for you. So if you have a beard that's not fully connected, it's light, it's looking kind of patchy, not so clean, don't bother by growing out the rest of the beard to try to make it look like you have a beard that's fully connected because it's not the best look. So one of the things that you could do is, let's say you only have a mustache, just shave off the rest and just keep the mustache, just rock the mustache. If you have enough to where you can make a goatee, make the goatee. Or if you don't have the rest and you could just make a chin strap, just go ahead and rock the chin strap and just shave everything else. However, if you do have a beard, go ahead and keep it, grow it out, and just really rock that look and just embrace it as much as you can. Now, I had a beard since I was in like, I don't know, eighth grade. So for me, it was pretty natural and it was a no brainer for me to keep a beard. I'm not out here trying to have a goatee or just rock a mustache because like my beard is my look. So let's go ahead and start off with this first outfit. What he's doing in this photo right here, he's wearing a white tank top with some pants and a button down shirt. Now that's one of the trends that we have going on in 2023. So if you've been going to the gym, you're getting jacked and you really wanna show off your gains, one of the ways you could do that is by wearing a tank top some whatever pants that you want to wear i wouldn't say jeans something like khaki something that's a little bit more elevated maybe you have like some linen pants you can wear those linen pants with it have the tank top tucked into the pants and then as a layering piece go ahead and wear a button down shirt now this is a good look for spring and summertime because you could go ahead and wear this and still feel like you know a breeze still feel good and not too high he's wearing boots on this it's not too bad Notice his accessories. He's wearing some diamond stud earrings. That's probably like 50k a piece, but you can probably go to Claire's and get some for like 10 bucks. It looks like a tennis necklace. And then he has a pinky ring on his right pinky. So this is a very clean look. This is very stylish. While also keep it minimalistic and simple. And it also kind of has like a vintage feel to it. Maybe something how they were doing in the 70s. The only thing that's missing is probably like a little Afro, but I, hands down, this is a nice clean look. Now, number two, I don't know if he has a stylish or not, but this is a very good look. I'm starting to see that he rocks with the monochromatic colors or just sticking with tones that's pretty similar. So in this photo right here, he has on a black polo shirt. It looks like these are black pants and some black leather Chelsea boots. Now, the texture of the shirt kind of goes crazy. It looks pretty nice and comfortable. And with the polo shirts, here's a pro tip whenever you're wearing a polo shirt. Instead of buttoning it all the way up, go ahead and leave it a little bit open to have some flair, to have some style, to have some type of, you know, some oomph about you. And another thing that you could do with your shirts is rolling up the sleeves right up under your shoulders. So this is something Michael B. Jordan isn't doing in this photo, but the shirt fits him so well, you can still see his muscles. But he has it down midway into his biceps see that doesn't really show off my arms like that however if i rolled it up just a little bit boom my arms look a lot bigger and it looks like i somewhat lift again accessories are minimal it looks like he has on a simple necklace and a watch that's pretty much it he's keeping it very minimalistic with the style and that's something that i could really appreciate now we're on the third picture i ain't gonna lie this is a very nice clean simple i want to say this is 100 percent streetwear but i would say it's definitely street-ish and kind of urban while yet elevated this is a very nice look he has on the classic ray-ban uh shades he has on was really a staple piece in every man's wardrobe a bomber jacket i don't care what color you get it you could get it in olive olive green you get it in blue you can get it in red you could get it in cream a, a tan a bunch of different colors you want to make sure that you have a bomber jacket because it works well for you know the fall and winter times because it's a, it's a nice layering piece you can put it on in any situation and it still looks stylish not only that he has on a white t-shirt under the bomber jacket he has on some pants they look like they're like a khaki material with the pants but it's a very nice look and it's still sticking with that blue 
family that he has going on. And the shoes, again, I'm starting to notice he's more of a texture guy. So some of the stuff that he has on is textured. The, the shoes look like it's a blue velvet type of texture. And it kind of really matches the bomber jacket as far as the color. So I'm really impressed with this street-ish elevated style that he has going on in this photo. Let's go to the next one. Man, oh man, I ain't gonna lie. But again, this goes to texture. Let's go to that focal point, which is his turtleneck. His turtleneck is very nice, clean. It looks very soft and comfortable. I wish I had a turtleneck on like this in my, in my closet somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't. This probably costs like thousands of dollars, but this is a very nice, clean turtleneck. And he has on the the pants. The pants look like it's the same ones that he had on this in the first photo, but he has on some chocolate brown Chelsea boots at the bottom. And it's overall a very nice look and he's sticking within that same family. You have the khaki or the tan pants, the, the, the burnt orange turtleneck, and then you have on the brown leather Chelsea blues. It's textures on textures, it's playing around with each other. It's colors that's playing around with each other. He's doing a great job at just rocking it and being very stylish. Now that pretty much wraps it up for my style breakdown for Michael B. Jordan. Let me know in the comments what you think and who you want to see next. I'll make more videos like this and doing more style celebrity breakdowns. And again, I appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.